in this episode how to find information by using Venn diagrams coming up back into action hey guys today I will show you how to find information by using Venn diagrams so suppose you are given the following problems so a Venn diagram is set up for you it's already given and you are given three sets namely a b and c with their elements and also you are given the universal set or universe u and all elements that your sets are made of already are labeled, labeled on your diagram now you have to answer the following questions so you need to find the number of the elements in different combinations of sets i would say so typically in set language in set theory the small lowercase letter n represents the number of elements in a set Sometimes it's called the cardinality of a set, but most of the times it's just a number of the elements in a set. Well, before we get into this, first of all, just let let write these all sets explicitly in roster method in terms of the elements so for the set a let's start with a we would simply have let's just list out all elements of set a so from the di diagram so this information needs to be pulled out directly from the di from the venn diagrams you have no other way so for set A, you would simply have two and four, two elements. It's two and four. Now for the set B, you would have one, two and three. I'm writing in kind of ascending in order in a proper order you could write it in any order it doesn't matter basically at this point and set c is made of is composed of the following elements so set c we have three and six and finally the entire universe u which is basically is a super set for all of these sets, or in other words, all of these sets, namely A, B, and C, they are just a subsets of this universe, which is fixed for this problem. So, for that set U, for the universe, universe is composed of is made of of all of the elements let's start from zero since zero is in you so zero one two three four five and six so as i said a b and c they are again subsets of this universe U. Now, when I write these sets explicitly in roster form, just by listing out the elements separated by comma, it would be easier to get to these questions. So let's jump into this. Look at the first one. We need to find the number of the elements A so typically prime stands for the complement of a set so a prime intersection b prime so complement of b and if you need help by the way with the intersection union 
complement of a set, the difference, or in a nutshell, on operations. On sets, you could check out my playlist on sets, where I have different separate videos on intersection, union, complement difference, and general sets, general set theory, what is a set, what is a, what is a subset, proper subset, blah, blah, blah. So you could just check it out later. Now, before we get into number and into intersection, let's start with the complement, because we need it. So the complement of a set A. So this is number one. So the complement of a set A, A prime. So all we need to do is just look for the, the elements that are not in a set A. So the complement by definition, it's a set containing all those elements that are in a set U, in a universal set, but they do not belong to set A. So you could simply look at your diagram or just pull out it from there. Anyway, it's fine. So it's gonna be zero. Zero is not in a A. One, it belongs to you or to B, but not in a A. So in a nutshell, all the elements except 2 and 4, you see? Because 2 and 4, they are in A. So all elements except 2 and 4. So I'm going to skip 2, 3. I'm going to skip over 4, 5, and 6. So this is the complement of a set A. Same thing goes for complement B. So B prime equals so the same idea applies over here it's all the elements that belong to universal u but do not belong to b so zero definitely yes so skip this element so one two three no four five and six all right Let's find the intersection. So intersection of this A prime and B prime. So let's just intersect them. So A prime intersection B prime. And typically for intersection, we are after, we are looking for the common elements that show up in both A prime and B prime. So we are looking for the common elements to both A prime and B prime. So, and it's gonna be zero common five and six. Just write it down. So zero. 5 and 6. So it's going to be 3 elements. Only 3. So if you are asked to find the number of this intersection, the answer is going to be 3 since there are 3 elements lying in this intersection. So the number of elements is just three. And this is your final answer for number one. So again, you have three elements, one, two, three, that your intersection is made of, is composed of. And we are done. Now, for number two, So we need to find, first of all, A intersection B. After, we will find the complement of A intersection B. 
And also we need to find C prime, the complement of a set C. So let's start with A intersection B. So A intersection B is going to be, again, we are looking for the common element. So two belongs to both A and B, only two. There is only one element, so it's kind of singlet set. And we would write it down. So it's just one element. Two. Now, we need to find the complement of A intersection B. So the complement of this set. So A intersection B complement. And this set containing all the elements that are in set U, but not in an intersection. So basically in other words it's going to be all the elements except two so zero one just list them out three we skip two so it's going to be just six elements except these two so this is your complement of the intersection also, we need C prime, the complement of the set C. So, since C is made of, of 3 and 6, we are going to list out the element except these 3 and 6, but belonging, obviously, to the set U. So, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, we are going to skip 3, 4, 5, and that's all because 6 is in C. This is your complement of C or C prime. And we need to take the intersection. So we need to intersect what we found before. So this intersection. So this and this. So we need to intersect this set and we need to intersect that set. So let's find the intersection of them. So A intersection B prime, intersection C prime. And again, for intersection, keep in mind that we are looking for the common elements that appear in both sets. So we just check them. Zero definitely appears in both. One. Four. And I believe the last one is five. So it's basically four elements, right? So we could write it out, but the answer is already there. So there are four, because basically we ask for a number of the elements. We don't need to basically write the, this intersection explicitly, but just let's do it for fun. So it's again 0, 1, 4, and 5. So we can conclude that the number of this set, the number of the elements, is just so we can just simply count them. Yeah, there are four elements. So the answer is four. So that's your final answer for the number two. Moving on. And the last one, let's do it quickly, number three. So in order to get our required number, we need to find A union C first, and after we will find complement, this is our plan, and also we need B intersection C, these two sets, and we will find the intersection between these two sets. All right, intersection, 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 whatever. So A union C, first of all, let's get into this. So A union C. So, 
A and C, these two sets I'm going to union. So union basically means you need to join these two sets. So we could just list out the elements that appears both in both sets, A and C in this case. So it's two, three, four, and six. So again, I just list out the elements, the all elements that show up, that appear in both sets, A and C. So two, three, four, and six. Now, we need to find the complement of this union. So A union C complement. And again, for complement, we are going to list out the elements that are not in a, this union, but they they belong to you, to your universal. So it's gonna be zero, one. We're going to skip these elements, two, three, four. So two, three, four are skipped. The next one is five, and that's all. Now, we need to find also B intersection C. B intersection C. So again, we are looking for the common elements. So B and C. So if you look at these two sets, you would see three appears in B and three appears also in C. So the intersection is gonna be just one element, namely C. So your intersection is just containing this element three. Now, look at the intersection. So basically now we are looking for intersection. This set, A union C prime complement, and that set, B intersection C. So for intersection, We're always looking for the common elements. Common elements to both two sets. Look at this and ask yourself, what are the common elements to both these sets? And the answer is there is no common elements. Since these two sets are made up of completely different distinct elements. You have zero, one, five, here and you have element three here they are completely different so what is your intersection the intersection is just simply an empty set or a null set and this is symbol for an empty set an empty set in set language in set speak simply means that set containing no elements so it's empty there is no elements in it. So, and in this case, these two sets, they are called disjoint. If you come to this, disjoint sets. So again, dis disjoint sets, when the intersection of two sets is just an empty set. And the answer for this problem is just zero, since they're empty. So, the number of the elements of this intersection is just simply zero. So, the number of the elements is just zero. So, that's your final answer for that number three. All right, guys, I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and train your brain. I know everyone hates maths, but if you like my video, please hit like, share with your friends, leave the comment down below, and be sure to subscribe so you will not miss out my new videos.